I am not a pop star, really, I just pop shit <laughs> Yeah, I just pop shit I ain't get a penny for my time, but the watch shit Don't know what they thought, let them talk, it's just gossip I'ma chase a million Welcome back to another wonderful episode of Not A Real Podcast. It's Yonko. And I'm Isha. And today we got some good stuff. I really love um, Dave, especially. Every week he be like, yep, it's getting better. It's getting better. Who it's said getting that? better. Dave. Dave. More, your Dave. Both. Oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he like, was, it's getting better, it's getting better, yeah. it's getting better. I keep hearing that, though. Like, people, like, really, like, they can see the growth yeah. with us. And, yeah. yeah. The it's last epi- last couple episodes, I feel like we really just was, like, killing it. Just flowing. Yeah. Let it flow, let it flow. Oh, no, that's let it go. Yeah, no, right. yeah. I thought you was going to at least give us a little time. Tony, that's why I was thinking in my head, but then Elsa popped in. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Um, but of course, before we get in, yeah, peek and pit. I don't know. Do I look Lenny? Like, Len- I, uh-uh, you okay. did. You got it. You got it all. Okay. You got it all, all, all. Um, and watch when it come out, I'm going to be looking like a lint ball. Um, pet- hey, you know how fish going to feel about that. I know. We got to get a new lint brush. You do not <laughs> like the lint and the weave <laughs> on the fucking clothes. Um, pit, <laughs> pit and peek and <laughs> <laughs> Pit and peak of this week. The peak was, um, I had a couple peaks, some okay. amazing peaks. So one of the peaks is. Hey, I put this on, do not disturb. I'm sorry. Um, one of the peaks was, uh, so Jazz, who, a good friend of ours, she mm-hmm. also came to, um, our recording a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. She came to me with this idea. She wanted to like, partner with. Uh, your bank. What do I need to do with the bank? Let me see. Let me see. We do it. We do like this. Okay. Um, she came to me with this idea. She wanted us to partner with a nonprofit to do Princess for the Night. Um, so basically what that is, we are accept. We are my nonprofit, <laughs> Teach to Reach. We're accepting new and gently used formal gowns and prom, prom gowns of all sizes, as well as shoes uh, for some super, super deserving girls, seniors uh, in high school in the Atlanta, Georgia area, as well as the Cleveland, Ohio area. So if you want to donate, please hit me up on my personal pages at OMG underscore Isha or the nonprofit pages, uh, social media pages that we teach, we reach. That's both on Instagram and Twitter. Or you can call and text me at 770-502-5557. That, and if you not, don't be using that number to try to like talk to me. That's exactly what's going to happen. Don't do that. That's exactly what's going to happen. That's because that is my number, but that's not my personal personal yeah. number, but still it's, it's directly to it me. It sounds fake as hell, 555. It does, <laughs> right. But um, yeah, so we're super excited to be like do- doing this initiative. We've gotten so much like response and People donated. In fact, I have someone coming up here to put some more gowns in my truck mm-hmm. while we record. I'm super appreciative. I know Jazz is super appreciative and we're just really grateful for the turnout. And the goal is to make this bigger and better every year. Mm-hmm. So right now we're just doing it for the girls, Princess for the Night. But next year we want to incorporate the boys and mm-hmm. get them together for prime and then, you know, start reaching out to hairstylists and makeup artists and, mm-hmm. you know, make it a thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm really, really excited. So that was the peak. What was the, um, what's the motivation behind waiting on, waiting to next year for the guys? Like why you can't do it, both of them this year, or you just really, truly want to focus on, because it's more money in girls? N- not even that. I think it's just, it, it would probably be easier and I know it, it, for it to be our first time, easier to get donated gowns and dresses versus a lot of guys will probably rent their tux mm-hmm. or, you know, rent their suit or whatever, whatever. So we just want to, you know, do the girls this year, kind of work out the kinks. The girls are going to be our guinea pigs, I guess. Yeah. To see what's working, what's not working. Do we need to start it earlier in the year? Um, and then next year, we definitely going to include the boys. Yeah. I got a, a, cr- a tan, like tan gold crushed velvet suit that I got from DNK. For a girl? Girl or boy, go <laughs> <laughs> What is that, velvet? Why do you got a crushed velvet suit? <laughs> Remember, I was supposed to be Prince. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then I end up being sexual chocolate. <laughs> sexual chocolate, everyone. <laughs> I believe the children are our future. So that so was perfect for teach the reason. No, right? no for real. Um, so that was a peak. And then I guess the biggest peak would be my mom and my aunt came down this week. They're Yay. actually, uh, girl, they're actually <laughs> still here. They came down Friday morning. Mm-hmm. They leave tonight. Mm-hmm. 
the the longest four tonight. days of my life. <laughs> Don't uh, do that. But Friday that. was cool. We kind of chill. And then <clears throat> Saturday, we went to the country, McIntyre, Georgia, mm -hmm. right by Jeffersonville. So I seen my uncle. I seen cousins that I haven't seen that I don't remember that I never probably some I never met mm -hmm. um because I haven't been down in McIntyre probably in over 20 years so it's a large bulk of your family down there yeah because my grand my grandparents are from Georgia my grandmother mm -hmm. was from Rome Georgia my grandfather was from Jeffersonville Georgia but those are by each other too ain't it yeah Rome okay yeah, yeah. and so um yeah it was good it was good to see everybody mm -hmm. and I felt bad like I've been here almost seven years and I haven't been down there so I told him like I'm gonna do Better we're going down. It's a little juke joint that they're going to take me to. You know, mm -hmm. I've been trying to get to a juke joint, so I'm excited about that. Um, and then Sunday, we just kind of chilled. You pulled up. Uh, mm -hmm. TT and her family pulled up. Some laughs. So it was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then today, you know, I'm, when we're not recording, I'm taking them to the airports. Don't, I'm ready to get my house back. They, they not even much, they don't even keep up much trouble. My mother gonna say, I don't, I don't mess around with a woman's kitchen. That's why I ain't been washing dishes, cause I don't know how you like the dishes to be washed. Auntie Shirley gonna say, well, I wash your dishes at your house. She gonna say, well, you know, I ain't particular. Girl, just say you don't wanna wash dishes. They leave socks. Just girl. say you don't wanna be in the kitchen. Just because say. Because there was no reason that my girl, Auntie Sheila was cooking. Yesterday. Every day. She yeah. cooked every day. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. So that's been the peak. It's really been fun having them down here. And then yesterday, they was like, okay, let's go to the grocery store. So I'm like, all right. And then they took me grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. Like, get what you want. I was like, all right. <laughs> all right. I'm, okay, I'll fuck with this. <laughs> um, yeah, so pits. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't thought about something. It was all good just a week ago. <laughs> Oh my God! Get Everything on my I head. said last week about that nigga scratch it. <laughs> wow, sir. <laughs> no, um, but no, yeah, I didn't have no piss this week. <laughs> yeah, I think this last one to come off. I didn't have no piss this week. This week was a um, yeah, it was a good week. I had no piss, you know. Yeah. You said the blessing is in a disappointment. The blessing is in a... <laughs> You're just looking forward to the blessing, baby. Because if I believe that for any other situation, I got to believe it for this Ooh. one. You know, the, uh, the one thing that popped in my head is like uh, from the great Sean Corey Carter, Jay-Z, when uh -huh. he said, uh, oh, I don't know what you take me as mm -hmm. or understand the intelligence that Isha has. Mm -hmm. For Rex, Richard's nigga, I ain't dumb. Mm -hmm. I got 99 problems. But a bitch ain't one. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I ain't had no piss this week. Mm hmm What about you? Whoo. <laughs> 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 that's crazy. Well. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> My nail messed up. I can't get right. Ooh. You know, one papa. Mess me up. I can't. I keep re-injuring it. Hilarious. Nah. I hilarious. No, nah, because oh, what? Cause they be having folks messed up, and that's great. Great, like okay. So what? I had a peak. Okay. Um, did I have a peak? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's a good week. It hasn't been bad. Yeah. It's been a pretty good week. Um. Uh, work ain't been too exhausting. Okay. I had to reach out today like, hey, can I, uh, can somebody just add me on your call? Can we do something? Like, I'm just sitting here. Can I shadow? Can I do something? Right, because it's cool to just sit here. But I like to be, like, idle when I know what's going on. Yeah, not in the beginning. Yeah, I don't like to be idle and not know what's going on. Because then, when then you, yeah, when it's time for me to work, it's like the expectations are there. And it's like, well, hold on. I don't even know none of this. Yep. Um, or it ramps up so quick and now you falling behind and I don't really like to leave a bad impression. I was telling my from girl according to them, like, I, I know I'll be on some bullshit outside of work. Yeah. I know. Yeah. But when I'm working, I at least try for real. Yeah. Um, and it's my, my track record at working speaks for itself. Like I'm constantly getting promoted, constantly getting recognized and stuff. So I don't really want to just jump <laughs> off the porch. Like, I don't care. I know I'm in a different space in my life, yeah. but I at least want to put up a front. In the beginning. In the beginning. For sure. 
So yeah, but yeah, work been pretty cool. Um, it, it has been idle, so I've been able to still do the things I want to do. I moved my office around. Yeah, I was happy about that. I put my projector from the um sun porch to the office. So I've been watching every morning. Um, I've been watching Halloween movies on Tubi. Oh. Um. Don't do that. You know how I feel about Tubi. Have you ever seen Hell, Baby? Girl, no, but I'm not going to watch it. You don't have to tell me it's about not, it. It's not like a Tubi original, though, for real. It's okay. It's fine. No, it's a good... It's really a good... Okay. Don't worry about it. I come up and watch it. No, so, I don't watch I, it. Don't worry about it. So, yeah, I've been watching comedy horrors okay. every morning. Okay. As I start my day or whatever. Um, So, that's been real funny. And at night, I go to sleep on them. But yeah, I think that's my pretty much my peak. I ain't yeah. had no, I ain't really had no crazy horrible week up until what day was that? Uh, Sunday actually, S- Sunday morning, Saturday night, Sunday morning. So last week I explained how Blue has been diagnosed with uh transitional cell carcinoma, which is a tumor on his bladder, and there isn't from my research there isn't like a strong survival rate, and so it could be six months with medication, twelve months with Chemo, um, and of course, I think those there's some variables to those time limits. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't really think it's six months. Yeah. Um, my God, I got the final say, anyways, and wherever that goes, that's just where I'm gonna have peace. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I never watch him be in pain, and so it was very, very. I think, and I was talking to um Trené about it, not that, but I was saying like that Saturday, I'm like. He was acting weird, and she was like, "Friend, I think it's in your head. Like you might mm-hmm. just be everything now. You just so hypersensitive yeah. to it." And so she was like, "It might be in your head." And I'm like, "Okay." He just kind of chilling. Now earlier this week, we did go for multiple walks. Um, he played in the outside in the rain. Yeah, he was, and he and that's not blue. He don't play in the rain. He yeah. don't go in the rain. Yeah. Um, he will hold his pee, his poop for hours on end. He will not go outside when it's raining. That medicine got him feeling so good. He ran out there in the rain playing with his ball for like 45 minutes to an hour. And so I feel like he's he probably did need some time to recuperate. Mm-hmm. So I kind of charged it on Saturday to him just needing some time to recuperate. But then Saturday night, Sunday morning, we sleep. Um, and I see him like shaking in his sleep, almost like he got trembles. Like, mm-hmm. it's like, you, you, you okay? So I put a little blanket on him. And he's still shaking. I put the heater on, you know, oscillating or whatever. He's still shaking. So mm-hmm. then he, I get him up. We go use the bathroom. We come back in. He's not shaking as much. And then he's kind of looking at me. Then he comes over to me. So I'm like, all right, we got to sleep together because mm-hmm. I got to watch you. And he does it again. So I'm like, what is wrong? Like, I got so nervous because they did tell me in the beginning, like, go. the first thing you need to do before you try to figure out what therapy he needs or whatever it is that he needs to get over this is get some x-rays to make sure it doesn't it hasn't metastasized i'm probably saying it wrong to other areas of the body meaning like the tumor has spread Mm -hmm. to other areas of the body um so it hasn't thank god uh but yeah so that was kind of like a heavy heavy pit and i was really down yesterday um for the most part like towards the night auntie sheila and your mama Yeah. yeah They was over there playing casino. Uh, All in my business. Me and Ish was talking. And we having a conversation. What? I didn't think it was anything wrong with us having a conversation. I didn't either. All of a sudden, your mama intrusive thoughts. <laughs> Girl. She slapped the car down. She said, damn, I can't focus. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna say, I didn't mean to say that out loud. <laughs> like, Girl, we is in a house that my friend paid for that you probably help her pay for right now. But girl, my friend, this is my this friend is house. my house. Don't do that, the girl. She, girl, she got her hair oil on my cu- <laughs> my pillow cases. You got some some you got no pillow covers. Oh, it's okay. I'll get you some new ones. It's just hair oil because I keep pillow covers on my yeah. girl. Go home. <laughs> Go home, Roger. Go home. Don't do that like that. I love seeing your mama them. Girl, they were so happy to see. They've been talking about you all weekend. So I when I was like, Cody coming them. over, they was like, all right, come. We was at the grocery store. They was like, all right, we got to get home. Don't rush me now. <laughs> do not, don't do that. Because you told me anything, so I'm we, not done. We going out every hour. Aisle for hour. Aisle. Yeah. Bar for bar, hour for hour. So yeah, no, that was cool. Yeah. Yeah, so I appreciate um, you let me come over and see my girls. Girl, they wouldn't I, have had it no other way. I don't know, but that, still. Yeah. I'm so happy that they that they even wanted to see me. No, they would Because I legit be like, I couldn't wait to come and see them. I, I should have came Friday, but he was acting kind of funny then, yeah. too. I knew I wasn't going to make it. 
um, Saturday. I, I, well, I knew it. I wasn't even thinking that y'all was going to the country. I was just like, nah, I know I'm not going to be able to make it Saturday because he was, that's when he really yeah. started acting weird. And then Sunday, I was like, nah, let me just go. Because yeah. at the end of the day, me sitting here, we ain't going to change nothing. Yeah. And uh, I can get Maxine to watch him. Yeah. Speaking of, you know, she kidnapped him the day I did not know that baby was gone out that house until I get pictures. Of him, her, and Toya. But anyway. Today? But that's he a, with her now. But that's what I'm saying. You you really don't be knowing where your dog be. <laughs> like, you put an air tag on him and just let him roam. <laughs> he just really be roaming the neighborhood. Like, that's insane. That's my baby. He, yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I'm nervous a little bit. This is another peak. I guess I can really go, go into some more details next week about it. Okay. But, um... I'm officiating a wedding on Friday. Oh yeah. I'm nervous. I'm getting nervous now. Yeah. Yeah. You got to have you written have you actually written down what you want to say? Yeah. Now? I probably need to take something out. I got winded, long if winded. You I ain't gonna pull do, that little stunt. I ain't gonna I'm only praying one time. If you pull that little stunt, I, I promise. I'm not and I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Cause Yeah, because that man did six prayers. My feet was on fire. What did you say? I'm not afraid. If you just lean your ankle against the um, the, this little part right here, it ain't going to hurt. Girl, and I was just leaning. My feet was on fire. You hear me? I'm Sir, not, you bugging God, God at this point. Yeah, he like, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right I got now. you. All right, all right. Yeah, cool. All right, fam. Yeah, it is we'll wrap it, it up. Like, yeah, that's how it was. Um, Don't yes. do that, though. I'm not. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited. Um, and I guess we can talk about how it went, because you're actually going to the wedding, too. Mm-hmm. Um, again, I'm, our homegirl is getting married. She asked me to officiate the wedding, so I became ordained. So I'm really a reverend in real life. Okay. Yeah, so we'll talk about that more next week. Yes, we will. Yeah. I'm excited. I'll get my hair done for the first time in like, oof, yeah. months. I got I, I got to get a shaper for the dress I'm wearing. Do you? Yeah. Why? I need a real good shaper to shape this shit. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> like, we got, Is it how it fit, though? Tight. Oh, is it? Yeah. We need to shape it. That's all right. We're going to squeeze you in there. Yeah. Don't even squeeze worry about it. Squeeze my funny ass up in this. <laughs> yeah. Tight ass up in here. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Our peak and piss are getting, they're getting longer, but I'm okay with that. Yeah, we just need to make sure everybody in the room is okay with that. Because <laughs> you know fish are wrap that shit. <laughs> One time we did our peak and piss, we got in South Spain. Next thing I know, fish was like this. <laughs> wrap it up. Dang, we talked that long. Grab it up. Yeah. Lord have mercy. But okay, so let's go ahead and get into the episode then. Yeah, let's, let's get into, let's get it started. Yeah. <laughs> So, today we're going to be talking about self-care. We are talking about self-care. Self-care. Yes. But not only self-care. Um, I feel like this lash about to come off. Which right one? This one. I can't see from over here. It might be just my hair in the way. Yeah, we're going to hit the stop. We can. No, we ain't going to stop. We, we one take. <laughs> we really do do one take. One take. We Since we started. Since we, episode one. One take. One take. Yeah. Okay. But, um, yeah, self-care. Establishing a routine. Yeah. What does that look like? How does it feel? What makes you happy? Yeah. In those routines or just self care as a whole? What is it? And uh, when we talk about relationships and stuff, <laughs> <laughs> two takes. <laughs> Three takes? Was it too happy for you? <laughs> yeah, self care. Um, and as an individual, and then in relationship, let's let's get to it. <laughs> All right. What does self care look like for you, Frank? No, no, you can start. You can start. Uh, self care. Like? No, I, um, self care looks it's different for me depending on like what. Depending on my like level of being overwhelmed, depending on like where I'm at mentally, emotionally. So self care can sometimes be just chilling in the house all day, not mm-hmm. answering nobody calls, not replying to texts. I like, just kind of doing my own thing, watching the same shows that I always watch, and just being like lazy. Mm-hmm. Other times, self care can be, you know, going. I don't, but see, I don't count like going to get my hair done or nails or pedicure as self care because that's just like something that I just do all the time, and mm-hmm. it doesn't necessarily. I like the end results. I don't necessarily like sitting there for it. The action of. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. So that's not self-care for me. Um, And then sometimes self-care can be just hanging out with my friends mm-hmm. and laugh. Because I know like we're going to laugh. We're going to regardless of what's going on, we're going to laugh. And then, you know, other times self-care is just spending money. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to even lie. 
Make me happy. Oh my, it makes me so happy. It's it's sickening how happy I get when I spend money mm -hmm. on stuff that I don't necessarily need, mm -hmm. but I won't. And I'm just going to swipe you no swipers. <laughs> I'm swiping. <laughs> so it just depends on what, what, what I got going on and how long it's been since I last did a self-care mm -hmm. day or weekend mm -hmm. or week or month. It's funny that you say doing the things that you normally do isn't really considered self-care because when I look at you, I think that it is considered self-care. When I think of self-care, I'm thinking of like the things that I do that maybe I don't care to do them necessarily in that moment, but like on the other end of it, how it makes me feel yeah, and okay. the routine that I establish. Because when you don't have your nails done, like now like, this is driving me crazy. Bitch. It's yeah. you. This is literally yeah. driving me crazy. When you don't have your hair done, you're a bitch. <laughs> I mean. Am I really? Yes. <laughs> I'm that bad? Yes. Oh, my God. And that's a good thing. Yeah. I ain't mad at you. Yeah. Because you set setting a standard for yourself. Yeah. And it's not that you're necessarily a bitch towards people. You're not like, I'm going to be mean or rude to you because you're not feeling good. But sometimes you're kind of hard on yourself. Yeah. And so it's like, for me, that's when I look at you, when I think of it, I do think that's a part of your self-care because... In order to keep you happy, energized, and it's the things that you grew up, like you said in the other episode, your mama didn't, she said, if any, anything you do, you're going to get your hair done. Yeah, punishment and everything. I was still going to the beauty shop. Yeah. yeah. So that's a part of your experience, and that's something that you can then give on to your kids and stuff if you ever have kids, nieces, nephews, lessons, teach to reach. You got an organization. <laughs> <laughs> got to keep pushing this shit down the line. <laughs> to the kids in the organization. Because if this right. one makes you feel good, yeah, yeah, yeah. then you do the things that make you feel good. Yeah. It's but it's so routine for you that it's like Yeah. It is so No, that's a good point. Yeah, um, yeah that's a good point. Cause like right now I just I feel like I need a like I this is killing me. Mm -hmm. Like it's literally killing me. And especially with your nails, it's killing you, but you don't really care what you don't care. Like, if I say your nails, it's like, you don't really care. Like, girl, shut up. Yeah. Because you know you get your nails done often. But it's, it's really some, affecting it, uh, you. No, yeah. It's like, yeah. Remember yeah. one of my, I couldn't, my pedicure lady. I told you when I had my uh, emotional <laughs> breakdown. We're a bitch. Yeah, oh, girl. <laughs> I was ready to end it with everybody. I don't care. I was ready to fall out with all of y'all. You gonna say. And I probably shouldn't have took it there. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Never left or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I know I took it somewhere I need to be. And oh well. Oh well. Oh well. You probably should work through that. No, but for real. what I'm saying is, yeah. it's cool. But no, that's that's like self-care to me. One okay. of the things that even if I don't, I won't say necessarily don't enjoy it, um, but at the other end of it, how does that make me feel? How does that... The results. Yeah, and how yeah. does that make me treat or feel about myself? Self-care yeah. for me is in the word. It's how the things that I do... And the plans that I put in place, how does it make me feel about me? Yeah. Um, so I, I think that's pretty much self-care for me. It ain't. Yeah. It's, and like, I guess to your point, like, the things I really, really love is I love sleeping in. Oh, my God. Well, not sleeping in because I'm up early. But I love spending the first couple hours of the day with me. Yes. That's always been a thing. That's yes. Been a pri and as I'm getting older, that's like a priority now. Yes. Um. So imagine how I've been feeling these last four days. <laughs> Duh. As soon as like as soon as my eyes open, you hearing like the the spoon hitting the coffee cup because they down there making coffee. Like it's a lie. I, I, I should have brought them a coffee machine yesterday, but I know she do the instant coffee and that's her thing. Well, they brought it because I don't have no coffee machine. I don't drink coffee. Mm -hmm. they, mm. Mm -hmm. She was like, "Well, I bought my own just in case. I didn't know what you had." Oh, they actually brought. A yes, coffee machine? then they bought their own coffee. Yeah, girl, go home. You got everything you need at home. Do y'all got Trader Joe's up in um, Cleveland? Mm hmm Okay, good. Yeah. I can send her this one coffee. Girl, anyways. Oh. Um, but yeah, self-care. <laughs> it's a lot of, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. how you feel about you. Yeah. With the things that you do to make you happy. And they don't have to be, they can be big or they can be small. Yeah, yeah because my big, sleeping in, or not sleeping in, but just being lazy, laying around in mm -hmm. the house. I would go from my bed to the couch, from the couch to my bed. I would do that the whole weekend. The whole weekend. I will, and not leave my house. No. N I, and don't feel no type of way about it. I don't feel it. bad about it. No, absolutely not. If it, me, just waking up in the morning and looking forward to watching my little Halloween movies, the comedy horror. That's what, if that's what you into, if that's going to make you happy, then do it. That's, that's what I'm into. You know what used to make me happy? Yeah. 
So I really love <laughs> I like washing my face. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> you know what I'm also starting to not necessarily enjoy, but I do feel better afterwards. It would. You know, I've been working out. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I don't necessarily I don't sleep. For real. I don't sleep. Uh, as much as I like sleep, I don't really sleep at night. Um, mm -hmm. Shout out to stress. But um, getting up early in the morning mm -hmm. or since I'm up waiting to like the sun come up and then going and going for a walk and like mm -hmm. doing my little workouts. I don't actually like it. But afterwards, I'm like, OK, I feel like feel accomplished. Good. I feel yeah. good. So, yeah. yeah, that's kind of been like something that I'm I'm I'm. I'm committing to. Adopting to in your, in your yeah. routine. In my routine. Yeah. Yeah. Self-care is all about routine. It, it really is all about routine. Absolutely. The thing is, <clears throat> with self-care, it's a little bit easier to establish those routines because you know like the end result is going to make you happy. Yeah. Or the thing is going to make you happy. But at the end of the day, establishing a routine regardless can be difficult. Yes. And I feel like there's some things, even with self-care, that's just like, oh, I got to do this. Yeah. I got to do it. Me going to go get a wax. And I know a lot of people, some people enjoy it. Yeah. That's a part of my self care routine, but I fucking hate it. Really? I've never to this day gotten used to it. Yeah. I just hate it. But I think it's, it's, it's. Remember that one time, um, <laughs> you got drunk. Hi. Yeah. Hi, East. Yeah. Yeah. That one night, Drunk. yeah, and we were talking about, and I was like, "Oh no, I V all the time, da da da," and your and your stupid ass <laughs> went and nailed your booty hole. <laughs> Self care. Why would you listen to me? I was a hot you drunk. <laughs> what is that? I was in that mood. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Prickly. <laughs> <Shit. laughs> Fuck. It is itchy. <laughs> Self-care. Self-care do it for you every time. Every time. That was also a form of self-care for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because if we're going to get to it, we're going to get to it. Non-stop laughs. <laughs> I miss it so much. Watch. I'm coming back, baby. <laughs> back better than, well, listen, better than ever. I'm going to overindulge. Um, yeah, yo, booty hole. Don't, don't nair or veach your booty hole. I can't. Regardless of what your homegirl tell you, don't do that. My bad friend. I don't, I don't, I don't think it was, I think it was shaving it. Oh, you shaved I it. I shaved. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I shaved. I shaved. Which that is crazy. Stupid. You know, I was so. Did I listen to you? I don't think it was, was it? We yeah. must have just been talking. We was talking, and I lied and said I did it before. But I had never, I never shaved my booty hole. But I had, and maybe that was it. I don't know. But yeah. I sure did it. And you probably did it before, but the night that you did it, you wasn't sober enough to do it. That was stupid. Yeah. I'm never, I'm never listening to you again. I'm sorry. You're not my self-care. <laughs> You're not a part of my self-care. You don't have my best intention. <laughs> I'm sorry. But no, yeah. Step routine can be hard. It can be hard. Yeah. It, it takes discipline. And that's just something I don't have. And so a part of like my new regimen yeah. is really writing down. Um, and I've been doing it consistently actually for some time now. But I, I, it's been some inconsistencies with just writing down the things that I know I want to get better at and just like incorporating them day in and day out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and like you said, it's discipline. Uh, my therapist told me like, you're not going to, because I'm like, I just, I don't feel motivated. I need to feel mo motivated. And she was like, um, you're not going to always feel motivated. Mm -hmm. That's when you got to make the decision just to commit, mm -hmm. just commit to it. Mm -hmm. So that's, I'm trying to commit to it. Like now I get up in the morning, even if I don't have anything to do, I get up. I make my bed up. Mm -hmm. I take a shower. Mm -hmm. I put on some. I, either I go, you know, work out, then come take a shower. I just take a shower, and I put on some laundry clothes, or I be, like, walk around in my robe. I go downstairs. Like I'm trying to be intentional. Like I'm trying so, like, real luxurious. Yeah. Uh huh. Just, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna go thirty days of taking a shower, washing my face, brushing my teeth. Obviously, I do these things, but like on a schedule. Yeah. Like yeah. I wasn't gonna miss. I think it was like day 13. Brie was like, Cole, how you doing with that look? <laughs> how you doing taking, how you doing with your ass? 
How you doing, baby? Your ass. Every time I see you going there, I'm going to bring you out, baby. <laughs> That's what today is all about. Bring me out. Because <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> bring me out. And here's the thing. All right, all jokes aside. No, we not joking, though. But I'm not like in, I'm not in a bad place or a uh-huh. dark place, right? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm truly not because one of the things that, um, I prayed for, God gave me discernment to navigate this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so everything happened how it was supposed to happen mm-hmm. on Friday. Mm-hmm. Like, all right. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I ain't tripping. I was moved and led. Yeah. To- See what I need to see, be what I need to be, where I need to be. Yeah. And yeah. hear what I need to see here. Yeah, like you, you said, hear. you know what I mean? So, yeah. Okay. What does self-care look like for you in a relationship? Is it different? And do you, and does self-care also include your partner? And are you okay with your partner doing his own thing for self-care? Uh, so. That's a loaded question. That's okay. Yeah. Um it's self-care in a relationship. You know what? In the past, I used to kind of lose myself in a relationship. Oh, mm-hmm. That's real. I used to um, want to put them first. Yeah. Everything. Mm. Even if that means just sitting there watching you play the game all day, boiling on the inside, tired as hell, don't, coming off the plane from, yeah. uh, from my job or whatever. But I used to lose myself. Um, and I hated that. Mm. I hated that so much. But you know what? In, in the midst of it, I'm blaming them. They ain't did nothing, but they stayed true to their self-care. This it, was their little routine. And playing the game was his thing. That's his thing. That's his thing. He didn't he wave up. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't switch up on you. It, I switched up on me. That part. And that was crazy. That part. Um, It's amazing when you take a step back and you like, this was misdirected anger, misdirected frustration, misdirected. Uh, displaced anger like displaced. a mother. Displaced. Is misdirected a word? Yeah. Okay, I meant this place. I don't know, but my pastor this morning, he was like, individuation. <laughs> said, or individuality, if y'all like that better. No, sir. No, sir, because <laughs> individuation, my nigga, is not a word. That's literally not a word. <laughs> he said individuation or individuality, if y'all like that better. But yeah, this place, the anger, I wasn't correcting you, but. No, I don't know if that's a word or not, but for. <laughs> I think it is. But we're going to say this place, anger, and. If for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm mad. I'm hot. Yeah. Because I'm not doing what I want to do for me because at the end of the day, I want to spend time with you. Yeah. And then I don't want to feel like we not spending time together. Yeah. Um, and this ain't just, you know, that relationship. This just is in, like, general. in general. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Multiple relationships. Um, and I used to, most recent relationship, I used to have them all the time. Like, I really, uh, in, I'm inspired by your balance. Like, you can balance your friends, your home life, yeah. me. Like, you know how to balance uh-huh. to a certain um. No, you know how to balance, period, and I can do it to a certain degree. Yeah. So back then I would say it was it was stupid. Like it was like you said, displaced anger. Yeah. It was me losing me, not doing what made me happy, thinking that, oh, m- making me happy was gonna make him feel some type of way when yeah. in fact he was tired of me anyways. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it like, girl, you just sitting here watching me play the game. Well do something. Yeah, you don't even then ask, I'm up here asking once some days, like, can I play? <laughs> <laughs> Lame ass. <laughs> you are lame. lame. <laughs> you don't even want to play. Can I play? He can treat you like the little brother when he don't even plug no, in. That, no, he, he never gave me the stick. <laughs> <laughs> he never gave me the stick. You know, I told you I'm lame as hell. <laughs> lame as hell. He never gave me no sticks. Um, and then another question you asked was, well, I get to that, but yeah. Go, that, no, go ahead. That well. You like butter, you on the road, babe. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much. But um, do I care if my uh, significant other actually indulges in self-care and I don't? Like, yeah. that's kind of a requirement now to be in a relationship I, yes. with me. To, for, it, for me to be in a relationship with anybody, whether it's them, friends, whoever. Like, you have to dedicate time for yourself. Thanks. Full transparency. One time we kind of like... My most recent ex, we kind of separated at one point because I saw that it, I envied him and was so inspired by him by all the balance that he had. And then at some point, this balance act or this juggling act, he got he lost control of it. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, hey, you got to take some time for you to get back to you because this person who you are, I'm not really feeling it. Yeah. And it's not that I don't want to be there for you through it because um, I was definitely there through it. But it was like. You losing yourself. Yep. And then that was a reflection on me. It was like, this is what you look like. 
you like a chicken with your head cut off. It's like looking in the mirror. It was definitely looking in the mirror yeah. with an eye open and it was like, dang, like, yeah. no, 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 I, I want you to be better than this. Yeah. I want you to love on you more. You got to because you're trying to, you wearing yourself thin for everybody um, and you're not even really pouring into you for real. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's legit a requirement Facts. to be in a relationship with me. Yeah. You you got to have some kind of self-care routine established, whatever it looks like. Yeah. But I have to see that you dedicate this time to you um, and have that balance yeah. amongst your friends and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Do you, do, do you, I don't even know if I should just ask. I'm, just ask. Hey, we here now, baby. Ish. What's up? Do you, how do you feel about self-care in a relationship? We're going to start there. Um, I think it's important. Yeah. I think it's important because I think if you don't, you will lose yourself. <laughs> Especially if, if, it's, if it's a new relationship mm -hmm. or you just so in love, you mm -hmm. will lose yourself. Mm -hmm. and, and before you know it, you look up and you like, dang, what about... Not me. Yeah, yeah. Like what what about me? You will definitely lose yourself. So And it's not their responsibility. It's it's not. No. Your as my partner, your responsibility is not to make me happy, it's to add to my happiness. Add to it. Yeah. Whatever like your job is to add to everything that I got going on. I'm not putting that that responsibility on one person. You you can't you can't give if I feel like you can't take my joy, then I shouldn't depend on you to give it to me. Mm -hmm. Um so it's definitely important at for and I also think self-care individually is important, but also like as a couple, right? Sometimes self-care can be, you know, maybe y'all doing a couple's massage. Y'all both had some crazy weeks and y'all just need to get the kinks out. Self-care can also be going to the rage room, you know. Mm -hmm. Life is crazy right now. Mm -hmm. We got some, let's get this out. You know what I mean? So it doesn't, self-care isn't necessarily always pretty, but it's always needed. Mm -hmm. And then... I, I, like you said, you got to have your own thing going on. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't want my dude's self-care to include, like, having sex with somebody else. Well, no. <laughs> you know? Because <laughs> some people might think that's self-care. Well, no. No. No, that's... You see what I'm saying? That's not necessarily a form of it. Well, I, I know it's not. You know it's not. These niggas don't know it's not, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so, no. But do your thing. Whatever, you know, makes you happy and helps you unwind. As long as it doesn't involve, you know. Someone else. Vagina. Okay. They're going to be like, <laughs> they're going to be trying to put two and two together. That's probably <laughs> true. This has nothing to do with that. <laughs> it's just in general, you know. Um, I think it's sexy as hell when a man love on himself. Oh, Tiff sent us um that post by the guy he was cleaning up. Yeah. Oh, that was such a turn on. When the dude get to cleaning. Oh, my lord, and clean right. You know, all right, I ain't gonna even hold you. You know, and they're gonna be like these little basic bitches. You know, know what get me like? Dang. Okay, okay. What? When he folding his clothes, Ooh, but he man. folding it right. Oh my god! Like he worked at the Gap yeah. or Old Navy once yeah, upon a yeah, time. Yeah, like yeah. okay, he hit it with this right here well, to make it easy and not plan it out. Boy, I'll be basic. Yeah, I don't require it that much for real. But you're not a bare minimum bitch no, either. Oh no, no 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 no! Yeah, I don't require that much. Yeah. So if you look at it as it being basic, that's cool. That's my love for me. That's yeah. my self care. Or you walk in and he got the music playing and it's smelling good. You're like, oh boy, oh, you I smell you, bleach. You clean it. You want some? Let me go wash up. <laughs> Let me go hit the hot spot. Do something right quick so I can. Because what you doing this for? Because you love me? Or you love you me? Love you probably love him, but you, you <laughs> love me. <laughs> I love you too. I like it. Oh, my God. I use the water. Just drink the water. <laughs> yeah, no, but I do love that. Um, my, yeah. Yeah. Cleaning is a thing for me. Yeah. I like that. I, yeah. And before them clothes, it's like, ooh. Take it another level. Yeah. Uh-huh. Or even when I see them ironing. You know, I don't iron. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. Oh, if what y'all gonna do nothing else, he was gonna iron. So, oh boy. You know. Crazy. I'm talking about, like, to the point, I remember, like, he get, just give me your stuff. Give, give me. Here you go. Jess came over this weekend. They was getting ready for the gala. She was like, you got an iron car? I said, yeah. I picked the iron up. I said, 
scrape this off the eye right quick. I don't want it to transfer to a dress. How long has this been on here? No, but for real. I came in today like I should have eyed this uh, sweater. Look at me, baby. Girl, Look I don't, at me. Uh-uh, I don't, I don't do hang. that. But it, it just so, it's something so sensual yeah. about a man just ironing. I'm, we, ironing. we about to leave out the house and he'd be like, let me hit that. Can, can, take, come on now. Take, mm-hmm. Come on, take that off. Mm-hmm. And I just be like, all right. I do mm-hmm. not iron. But seeing somebody iron, it's like, all right. <laughs> I see you. What about when they put creases, like deep, deep creases in their stuff? I don't talk to old niggas that do like stuff like that. Let me call. Let me call Bree. So I'm going to ask you again. So I'm going to ask you again. Okay, first of all. So I'm going to ask you again. First of all. How do you feel? First, okay. When deep creases. Okay. In in they stuff. Okay. First of all. Why are you trying to be funny? First of all. (laughs) Spur giving first. Because if we're doing this, let's do this. Because that's really how the pants came. (laughs) No. That's really how the pants came. <laughs> and you and your homegirl was jocking my nigga because his stuff was creased and up. Was it? <laughs> don't want him? No, ma'am. I don't want the nigga. That, that's but back then, know. back then, you know, I thought everybody wanted him, baby. Okay. He was the sugar you honey iced tea to me. Insane. He was the, he was <laughs> it to you me. Are insane. I said, oh, what you, chick? How you complimenting my nigga creases? His <laughs> pants, girl, I will rock your shit. <laughs> Keep it cute, Miss Mamas. I will, I have fell out with friends over way less. Don't, don't look at his pants. Don't look at his crease. Is yeah. you crazy? Is you crazy? Girl. Yeah, okay. That's funny. Yeah. And I wasn't trying to be funny when I said what I said, but sometimes hit dogs holler. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's gonna be a long it's we're getting through some things. I can't even turn my phone back on. We're getting through some things. Today. Not me. You're not me. I'm, I'm, I'm through whatever I need to be through. Oh, okay. You don't think I am? Yeah, you, you, you through. I, w- I was through Friday. All right. You don't believe me? Yeah, no. I did. I'm going to do some self-care. You say no? <laughs> <laughs> no. But I'm here for you every step of the way. No. No, I know it ain't lingering. Yeah, no. Nah. The gut punch. But you fight back. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't tripping. Yeah. Yeah. I'm tying this off real quick. I ain't mad. Yeah. Hey, shit happens. It does. And life definitely goes on. And that's why self-care is very important. Because if if I would have lost myself in that, Mm -hmm. then I would really be tore up for real, for real. I was just going to ask you, like, all jokes aside. Yeah. What do you think you, what do you think kept you from, like, being tore up? I mean, and I know it's not, Nothing that's just like yeah. weighing on you too much. Yeah. But is it something that you've done for like you that just was like, whatever? Uh, yeah. I never. I didn't. I I didn't take nothing personal. Your mm-hmm. lack of whatever this or, you know what I mean. I didn't take it personal. It wasn't. I didn't take it like, oh, you're doing this to Isha. No, that's just who you are at your core. Right. Mm-hmm. So if I didn't, I didn't internalize it. I didn't take it personal. Mm-hmm. And I think that's one of the reasons why I'm like, all right. Yeah. And because you can tell, like, yeah, when you get into know somebody, you can tell their character. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? We talk about people being who they are at their core. Mm-hmm. And I, one thing that I'm really good at, and I even told him that that's why I don't understand. I'm really good at, because I'm so transparent about a lot of things, I'm good at pe- having people think they know me. Mm-hmm. Or whatever, and and I don't really I, uh, I I don't speak on half the stuff that I peep. So I peep stuff, and I was like, okay, let me just see. Mm-hmm. Let me just see how how he how he cut for real. Mm-hmm. And so it was always something that was kind of like it's cool, but eh. mm-hmm. there's always been some feelings there. Yeah, for sure. So it was never like I'm really that involved for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's been like, all right, this cool. Mm-hmm. We, this, all right, you It's fun. You fun. You it's cool. Fun. You a cool nigga. Yeah. We fun. We, we having fun. We doing on things on our way, our terms or whatever, whatever. Yeah. But it was always still some like reservation. Mm hmm. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's what kept you from like not yeah. falling too deep for like the BS for real. Yeah. yeah. And I can't, I've, like you, I've been lost in like relationships. I'm never doing that again. No. Ever, Mm-mm. ever with nobody. Mm-mm. My next relationship, I'm not. I I can't. I I was, I was very self. I'm I'm a very selfless person. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and I, and and I and I don't necessarily expect to like really change that, but I'm I'm moving forward. I've decided to be way more selfish than I was, even in a relationship. Like mm-hmm. I, there's still I'm, I'm gonna have to be mm-hmm. because we talked about entitlement. If mm-hmm. you give, 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 because that's just who you are. People gonna catch on to so that's just who you are, and this they gonna take, take, take. Yep, they say be careful how much you give because takers don't. Uh, have no limit to how much they take. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely and and this past situation was definitely like, all right, you could be because I was I was still selfish with a lot of things. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I think that's another reason why I ain't really. It's funny though because you know, you just talked about it. I think that's a um, like I'll just say like that's a that's a part of my self care routine now is to be a little bit more selfish. Yeah, for sure. Um. I just, I've seen me bend over backwards and give. Yeah. Like with Dang, no bounds. It was some white on my lip this whole time. I didn't see it. We we'll probably caught on the camera. Dang. Yeah. But yeah, with no bounds. And that done left me with an empty, not even empty hand. All right, whatever. You can have whatever. Yeah, because I'm going to get that. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get that back. I ain't tripping off of that. I don't like being left with no empty heart. Ooh. That's the tough part. Ooh. Girl, you can have whatever. That's- Ooh. I don't I don't give to get blessed. I give because I've been blessed and yeah. I'm gonna continue to be blessed because I'm you know what I'm saying? But don't yeah, don't don't leave me with no empty heart. Oh. I have to be selfish because I gotta guard. And guard I can't put that in nobody's hands. So I think that's another form of self care. Yep. Um, not, yep. I can't not I'm sure I know we talked about this, but when you think about like boundaries, bound again, I'm really good at creating boundaries. I'm working on enforcing them. That's a that's a part of self care. I can't leave my happiness or my peace or my sanity in the hands of somebody else. Mm-mm. That's mine and mine only to to have. I'm, I'm not the about owner to of that. What you about to do with this? Yeah, we can't we can't <laughs> co-own my happiness. We can't co-own my peace. Mm-hmm. We can't co-own my sanity. And I've done that in the past. Like, okay, well, well, why would he do that to me, or why would she do that to me? And it's like, well, because you allowed it. Because you allowed it. So mm-hmm. part of self care for me is taking ownership back over. Anything that pertains to my happiness, my mental health, my peace, my sanity. I'm not, I'm never co-owning that with nobody mm-hmm. ever. Mm-hmm. I'm being extremely selfish when it comes to that. Mm-hmm. Um, and however that looks, and I'm not making no apologies about that. Mm-mm. And I'm becoming more diligent at doing all of the things by just simply writing them down, writing yeah. them down to remind me and to reinforce. Yeah. Me. Sometimes yeah. I got to see it. Like I can, I can say this today. And then fall short tomorrow. Absolutely. But if I continue to reiterate it and reinforce it and say it over and over and over, it's like they teach the kids, I am beautiful, I am black, yeah. I am smart, I am this, I am that. Like we have to incorporate those things in our adult yeah. years too, because we got so much stuff going on that you sometimes forget that you are beautiful, you are smart. You forget you who you are. You forget who you are. Not even in a relationship. In the worldly things. Yeah, we're not a, a relationship aside. Sometimes, and you know how people be like, I forgot who I was, but I'm back now. Mm-hmm. Like, that's so true. Like, how many times have we been like, been like, <laughs> like, n- I'm playing. Oh, I, what? I, I, not even about a dude, just in general. Like in general. No, I'm low key a if, little lit bitch. For real. Me five years ago, I would have thought that was the corniest thing. Like, cheesy, super cheesy. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. just the cheesiest thing. Like I'm, I'm. <laughs> you forgot I'm this, I'm that. Now it should be resonating. Yeah, I, mean, I ain't gonna I, post I, it. Yeah, no. I, think, I think that's corny. I'm not about that post. Like, I forgot who I was, bitch. No, I remember. Bet. Yeah, no. Nah. But sometimes you got to sit with it. You got to be mm-hmm. like, all right, no. Nah. Mm-hmm. You you, you are that girl. Mm-hmm. And you don't got to be that girl to nobody else. But as long as you feel like you're that girl in your world, mm-hmm. then that's all that matters. Mm-hmm. I don't really care about the outside noise. Like, as long as I feel good about me, as long as I remember who I am, regardless of what the situation is or how it unfolds, like... You you know what you bring to the table. Mm-hmm. Act like it. You know who make um who make that girl really feel all those things? Oh, who? Will make Jada feel that kind of way. <laughs> that she is that girl. So much so he went up on that stage to slap that man. Over his home girl. <laughs> Cause they, <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. No, go no, ahead, no, no. Ahead, and that ahead. was a little jokey joke. Uh, cause, okay, for, so Jada, Jada Pickett Smith is, she just released a book or it's about to come out. Uh huh. 
She and on her little tour now. She's doing her book tour. So, you know, everyone knows she's always been in love with Tupac. Mm-hmm. Um, and and she going to tell her business. She don't do nothing else. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so she went public and said that her and Will have been separated since 2016. Yeah. They're never going to get a divorce, Mm-mm. but they're separated. They, they vowed. They ain't getting no divorce. Yeah. They still was co-parenting them kids. Having lived together. Living together. So if you, so then why, we need to know about you fucking on um, that boy, that little young boy. With when, the, when did that even happen? During the separation? It, I think it happened after 2016, the entanglement. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it was after that. We didn't have to, like... But so then, but then you, you, y'all, so why you, why you let that man slap that man in his face? And she said she didn't, she thought it was a joke or she thought it was a skit. She didn't know it was for real. Uh, uh Uh-huh. Like, Will, I I need my homeboys to step for me like that every time. I was going to say, I've been in, I've been sitting over here, I've been trying to sit with this, like, do I feel like he shouldn't have slapped him? Or but no, I that's feel- the mother of his kids, and that's still I, his wife. I was so, going to yeah. say, at the end of the day, yeah. you cannot disrespect the person that I love, even if we're not, even if we're separated. No, facts. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. I still love this woman for the years that she gave me. And who she, wa- who she was to me, who she is to me, who she's going to always be to me. And she said that previously, I think, Rock had tried to talk to her because he was like, hey, I heard, I think she said this, hey, I heard y'all was separated. And she was like, Basically, like what? And he was like, "Oh yeah." And she was like, "Nah, we we you know we yeah. still good, or we still figuring it out." He, and he actually apologized. He was like, "Okay, my bad. I ain't I ain't no da da da." So I think Will probably got hip to that, and now uh, you saying some slick shit. So it probably wasn't even about the joke. It was probably some the behind the pressure. scene. Yeah. yeah. And I will will anything that my name is associated with, Ooh, affiliated with, it's pressure behind that. You know, exactly. people be acting nonchalant like yeah. ain't no pressure. 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 So I, I'm yeah. like, hey, at the end of the day, I'm still standing with Will. Facts. You did what you needed to do. Facts. Of course, a little decorum goes a long way, but shit, you said this time and this the place. So do what you handle your business, yeah. stand on your business. Yeah. That's what you got to do. Um, so now, even though they wasn't, because everybody like, I, I mean, I'm talking about the whole in there. That wasn't even your wife. That wasn't even your, y'all separate. That's your this, that's your that. That's your like, girl. Okay, that's well, your partner now. And I need my partner them to the step. step. Every single time. That's what I'm saying. You can't say just because they separated, because at the end of the day, they might be separated, but I'm pretty sure they're trying to figure this shit out. And even if they're not trying to figure it out. You still gave me some of the best years of my life, even if you gave me some bad years. (laughs) Like, me and my ex, uh, my ex from a few years ago, it was, he, we not even talking. We didn't talk for a year. I'm talking. We'd be in the same spot. We not saying nothing. We standing right next to each other. We not saying nothing. He speaks to my family. That speaks to him. He got into his homeboy. We was at the bar. His homeboy got into a fight. So of course he jumped in. Mm-hmm. So one of the chicks that they was with, she started hitting on my ex. Now keep in mind, this man ain't spoke to me in a year. Mm-hmm. Baby, you know, let me you not can't play. Yeah, not that. Nope, not no. Nope. Try to take her head off. You can't. I'm you, talk, I it said was, it on the episode before. I'm yeah. not. You can't talk bad about him. You, you, you not. No. And I. And again, this is. And then after the fight, you know, they broke it up, and he like, you know, I get her, I take her, I like put her in my car, put her in my car. That was the first thing he said to me in the year. Mm-hmm. But because of who you was to me, mm-hmm. because of the role that you played in my life, because mm-hmm. of the love that I'm gonna always have for you. If it was just the niggas fighting, they ain't got nothing to do with me. But I know you. I know the type of nigga you not gonna put your hands on a woman. And as long as I'm here, I'm not gonna let nobody put their put hands on you. Exactly. I didn't play about you then, and I'm not going to play about you now. So we don't got to speak. We had our differences. We didn't make it. We didn't, we didn't ma- make it intimately. Yeah. But we still, you I, you still gave me some good years. You and still I'm gonna gave me. And I'm going to defend you because you, I've seen you defend me multiple times. And I know that if the, if the shoe was on the other foot, again, us not speaking, you going to step behind. You going to, yeah, yeah you, he not going to play about me. So, yeah, so I, I get said, Will. I'm, pro- I'm probably going to be a whole bunch of basic, stupid B words after yeah. my stance. Because at the end of the day, I, oh, well, if it was, if he was mine, I'm going to step. Every time. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to let you play crazy on this woman name. Yeah. That's my wife at the end of the day. We talked about. Uh, relationships last week and how we feel about we could, you know, go long years or whatever. I personally said I could and hope that, you know, God, we work it out. And so because of that commitment to you, because of that love to you, I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it every time. Every time. And the beautiful thing is, 
That folks been separated since 2016. I, not a lot of us had any freaking idea. Because it was really none of our business. Exactly. And they, they respected each other yep. in the public eye. Whatever they did probably was, yeah. was perfect. Yeah. It wasn't our business. Yeah. Like, so. Oh, excuse me. No, you okay. So it's like, dang. Yeah. It, it, if he going to show love, he going to show love. He been doing it publicly for all these years, and y'all didn't know. And why stop now? Why stop now? And people are like, you know, it's because this joke's funny. Like, you know, she she never misses an opportunity uh, opportunity to to embarrass, embarrass him. him. Yeah, they be but saying that. Y'all don't think everything she put in that book, she discussed with that man. You don't think that he knew. He didn't just find out with us that she was still in love with Tupac. He didn't just yeah. find out with us that. You know, she was gonna tell the world that she, they were separated. Like, no, nah, like he knew. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna laugh because the jokes be funny. Nah, they but at the end of the off. day, <laughs> when you love somebody, mm-hmm. when you love somebody, you allow them to tell their truth, and you not gonna play about them. Mm-mm. Anybody that I've ever loved, regardless of where we at in life right now, I'm not. I don't play about them, Mm-mm. and I'm not. Mm-mm. It ain't gonna start now. It ain't gonna start now. And I think a lot of times people be like, well, she has played crazy a few times over the years, but a lot of people be like, um, she played crazy and stuff, but I think it's because Will, Will don't. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not trying to say that Will isn't squeaky clean. I don't want to put that on that man's yeah, name. Yeah. I don't know. But Will talks a lot less than her. And yeah. I feel like a lot of times people just really want Will to come out and say something just to even the odds. And it's like, I mean, she, the most, the, the same commentary over all these years been Tupac and, uh, the entanglement thing came out. But that's not really all I know about Jada and her, mm-hmm. quote unquote, disdain or disrespect yeah. for Will. But, um, I don't know. I, I still see love there. Even if they are separated, I still see love there. I see love in Lil Holly and DDG. DD, DDG? Please tell me DDG. Yeah. They said, okay, so he was getting out the car. And Holly didn't reach for his hand. She reached for the security hand. And they said, he was like, dang, you don't want to grab my hand. <laughs> <laughs> dang, you don't want to grab my hand. This one girl like, Holly better than me because I would have told him, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> like, now when you going to get in front of these cameras and ask me this dumb ass question, you know why I want to hold your hand. I didn't even see your goddamn hand. As soon as I got down, he right here in the position to help me. You just in the way. You, boy, yeah. move, move. And I got, I probably should work on that. Move. I should work. <laughs> move before I react. Get the fuck out the way and let security do his job and Click secure me. Click is stupid. Click Dummy. And I, again, I should work on it. No, for real. Because she was like, oh, I'm sorry, baby. I thought it was sweet. I and it, it was, was so sweet. But hat, first of all, <laughs> had that been you. <laughs> first of all, <laughs> Do you, if, <laughs> just in the way, oh, damn, we would have been beefing because <laughs> I feel like this nigga in the way and this nigga feel like I'm trying to play him yeah. by holding another nigga hand. So now it's really awkward for like the next week. Oh, now I'm mad because why you wasn't there helping me? Because you if you didn't want me yeah, to grab his hand, you then why you? There. Okay, see, that's what I, we don't got to, we don't got to go nowhere no more. We don't got to go nowhere. That's not every time we do this shit. Now y'all gotta be homebound. Yeah, for yeah, we beefing. Just because we beefing, because I could have simply said, "I'm sorry." Oh, babe, I'm sorry. Yeah, I probably, I definitely should be. I'm sorry. Like, I wasn't even thinking. Come here, give me your hand. Yeah. Oh, Isha's baby. No, nah, now nah, it's niggas. You what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is we paying this nigga for then? If he can't do his job, you triggered right now, girl? Are you triggered? Did <laughs> you ain't stop? Are you triggered right now? Please don't get security first. But I'm triggered because I just finally, you know, why well, I'm in this situation. No. <laughs> uh, okay. No, I really think this lash coming off, friend. Uh, yeah, no, we might want to because you. Oh, no, it's coming it. off. Go ahead. Wrap this shit up. Yeah, you went back to where you did wrap not this, need to Wrap go. this shit up. That's it, y'all. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Me and my friend finna go have a powwow. Maybe a lemon drop. Something's got to happen. And she is really not that bothered. For real, for real. Y'all no, see I'm not. Her. If you know her, you know what bothered Isha this, looks yeah. like. No, this lashes. Okay, fuck it. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Bye. Out. <laughs>